my little girl, my dotes, or as she's better known among the family, uh, you picked a head starn gal, John. I hearken back to when she was just a toddler and she was having trouble doing something and we tried to help her out. And you've already seen the look. She got that look and says, no, me marry myself. <laughs> and not a whole hell of a lot has changed over the years. You only have to ask her brothers and I, she is fiercely loyal to the men in her life. Very loyal. She will take very good care of you. You are a very fortunate man in that respect. One of the special things that sticks out for me is the manner in which they met. Uh, they met at the pro-life march in Washington, DC. And one day Mary comes to me and says, John's looking for a summer job. Uh, he might want to work for you. So John got a hold of me and I hired him. And the first day he jumps in the truck with me, I decided, well, I said, I know where you wanted to work for me, John. And he kind of, yeah. I said, you just want to see the pretty girl every day. And he hesitated for a moment, but his Irish kicked in. He says, well, is that necessarily a bad thing? I said, This love is like the church bells As loud as they can ring In the good man's face on his wedding day When he sees his bride-to-be It's like a little girl holding daddy's hand when she volunteered to chaperone my sisters on the March for Life in order to save my mom nine hours of car sickness in a Greyhound bus. Uh, Mary did not want to go. She doesn't love socialization all the time. Um, being crammed in a bus full of students for nine hours wasn't her idea of fun, uh, but there was no option in her mind that my mom was going to uh, have to do it. So she went, um, and because of her uh, protectiveness of my mom and her loyalty, uh, she ended up meeting John, so it worked out pretty well for her. And with a little bit of help from Mary Rensky, uh, we are all here today. So we meet at a Red Robin. Uh, we meet Mary Claire and uh, Mary Rensky there. Sit down, order food, drinks, and uh, we're talking. John still hadn't asked her out. We were just doing this dinner with friends thing. And I was 45 minutes, almost an hour late. And I walk in and I almost walked out because they were both having so much fun. Finish up eating and I think we're about to head out, but I was very wrong. <laughs> Three hours later, <laughs> we're still sitting there talking. Our waiter's shift ended an hour earlier and I'm sitting outside of the booth with both my legs outside, hoping John gets the message. 
but he's too distracted talking to Mary. So at that point, I figured they were a pretty good match together. And about a week later, they started dating. It takes three to get married. It takes a man and a woman and God. And the closer you guys are to God, the closer you'll be to each other because he will create new hearts in you with which to love each other. And may there be plentiful little Irish tots running noisily through the sacred domestic church you establish. May your love for each other grow so that your beginning seems just a start, so that your middle seems just a beginning, and so that your ends in this life might simply be the beginnings of the heavenly kingdom. Close to me, close to me, close to me, oh close to me, what if I wonder, what if I missed it? to me